What is good everybody, Key here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to import stems into FL Studio for mixing and mastering your song. So the first thing you wanna do in FL Studio is make sure that it is an empty project. How you do that is go to File, New from Template, select Empty. Technically, you can select any other template that you want. Maybe you saved a template for mixing and mastering, but in this case, I'm assuming that you're brand new importing these stems into FL Studio. We're just gonna start with an empty template. So as you can see here, there is no plugins on the master or any inserts. Now what you wanna do is select your files on your computer that you want to import into FL Studio, drag them into the track header within the playlist not the playlist here. I'm gonna drag it to the track header. Once you drop it, it's gonna ask, do you want to create an audio clip, audio tracks, or instrumental tracks? In this case, we are going to create audio tracks. And if you look here on the track header, you can see that it is all going to be linked to a mixer track. So if we open the mixer, you're gonna see that everything is linked. This is good because it saves time. You don't have to go into each stem, double click and track it out yourself. It's already going to do that for you. This is also very useful when it comes to labeling tracks. For example, if I select this header, let's hold shift, left click, it's going to give you the option to rename this track. Let's say I want to rename this to just lead vocals. If I look in the mixer, it now says lead vocals. So everything that I wanna rename, it's going to automatically rename within the mixer, which saves so much time. <laughs> Another reason you wanna do this too is because let's say you want to get rid of a track. For example, this is the master and this is the current. We don't need this current in here. So we could just right click, delete, press okay. It's gonna ask, do you want to also remove all the clips and linked automations as well as subtracts and reset the linked mixer track? The good news is it brings up options that you are able to uh, select. Let's say you don't wanna delete the associated automation clip with the audio clips. You can deselect it and press okay and it's just going to delete the track from the playlist. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and delete everything here. So let's press okay and it is gone. Let's say for organization purposes, I like to have the beat as the number one insert if it's a two track mix. First of all, let's label the beat. Let's say I want to move that to insert number one. I'm able to do that by holding option and using the left arrow. Now that we have that set to insert number one, I'm able to double click and you can see that this beat is labeled to number one. If you wanna move this track up, all you gotta do is hold shift and use a scroll wheel. And obviously this is going to work for any of the vocal stems within the playlist here. So that is pretty much it when it comes to importing stems. But now I wanna show you a couple tips that might help you even more when it comes to mixing. So the first tip that I wanna share with you is if we go to option and we go to audio settings and you see here that it has a preview mixer track. So this preview mixer track is actually going to allow it so you can control the volume of the metronome. So it's not so loud. For me, when I turn that metronome on, that thing is clicking so loud in my ear. This allows you to control the volume of that metronome to wherever it is set in this preview mixer track. So if I wanted it set in insert eight, I can select insert eight. And when I turn the metronome on and press play, it's going to be set. And I can control that volume up and down. The second tip that I wanna share with you, as you can see when it imports stems, it's just one color. Some people like this, but I like to change it up a little bit. What I can do is on the track header to the right is this signal. So what you wanna do is just right click this signal and highlight every track that's in the playlist. Once that's highlighted, you can right click and press change color. In here, you're able to change the color as a gradient. So for the first one, we can select the green and the last one we can select blue. And then once you press accept, it's going to change everything in the mixer as well as the track headers in the playlist. This is more or less just for aesthetics. For me, I like it, it's visually pleasing, which helps bring out more creativity when mixing. So that is it guys. If you guys like this video, please let me know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for your time today. Have a blessed day. Peace.